Welcome to this video demonstration of creating a 3D model in NX. In this video, I will create a 3D solid model of a piston from an existing 2D sketch. I will explore the associativity of the solid model with the sketch. Then, add various features to the solid body utilizing the sketch feature. Let's start by utilizing the previously created 2D sketch of a piston to make a 3D model. I can create generate circular 3D model by applying the revolve feature on a 2D sketch. I can simply double click on the sketch profile in the graphics window to make any modifications to the sketch. The revolve feature will be automatically updated following the sketch modification. Now, I will hide the revolve feature for now and add a new sketch. This sketch is to create a cutout for the piston. To make the rectangle symmetrical, I can use symmetrical relations to easily achieve this. Also, I will make some fillets by utilizing the fillet command and clicking on the top and the slide lines. I can also utilize this command by simply clicking and dragging on the corner where I want the fillet to appear. When I am done with the sketch, I will show the revolve feature again and use the extrude command to create the cutout. You will notice that the boolean changes to subtract as I drag the extrusion through the existing solid body. I can also make this extrusion to be symmetrical to make it also do the body subtraction on the other side. I can also drag an existing extrusion at the start limit to easily modify where it starts from. Here I have already added chamfers, edge blends, and a hole to the extrusion. If I wanted to make this model again in another location, without going through the same process again, I can simply utilize the mirror feature to generate the model in the opposite side of a chosen mirror plane. Efficiently develop any complex 3D model, as desired, by utilizing the powerful NX 3D modeling capabilities. If you're curious to know more about our services, we offer a 30-day free trial that you can access by clicking on the free trial button located at the bottom right corner. Give it a try and see how it works for you.